It's your girl Abeja Theatra back with another episode of the Debra Deb Pepper. There's no way I could ever go vegan. I'm not about to spend the rest of my life eating rabbit food. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night to all my vegans, veganettes, and not so vegans across the globe. Welcome back to another episode of Cuz It's Vegan! I gotta eat it. Oh, mm, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Abeja, by the way. Man, I feel like it's been a while since I've been at this lovely couch. All right, you guys, so Instagram reeled me in again, and guess what they got me with this time? Aaron's cookies, that's what. They told me that I could try four cookies for free if I just paid shipping, which was $5. So of course, your girl had to jump on it. Honestly, you guys, there are so many great deals on Instagram and some on Facebook of just offering you to try things for free except for shipping, and that's pretty awesome. I mean, just think, some of these things you could be paying full price plus shipping, but instead, you're just paying shipping. And it's not like out of the wazoo shipping like eBay, where a sewing machine costs $1, but the shipping is $100. So I'm always gonna jump on these deals because why not, right? Just to reiterate, I am trying Aaron Baker's cookies, or as they call them, the original. So anyway, they allow me to try four flavors out of, I think about eight or so. Let me share those flavors with you. First, I'll be trying oatmeal raisin. Then I'll be trying my favorite flavor, double chocolate. Next, I have something quite interesting. Scary, but cool at the same time. Caramel apple, or as some of y'all say, caramel, but there's a whole nother A in there. And lastly, I'll be trying their peanut butter chocolate. I wanna point out that all of these cookies say breakfast cookies. So, you want a cookie for breakfast? You can have it. I wanna share a couple facts with you guys about these cookies. They have at least six grams of fiber and six grams of protein. And each cookie is either 330 or just 300 calories. Also, they pride themselves in being whole grain, baked with real fruits or fruit sweetened, nothing artificial, and great toasted. I feel like that's just bad English. Let me show you. This is great toasted. I feel like it should say greatly toasted. Anyway. Also, out of all the four flavors that I'm trying, this caramel apple is the only one that is vegetarian. It does contain milk, while the rest of them are vegan. Let's go ahead and get started with the original oatmeal raisin. Hold up. Do they not want me to try the cookies? This is not cool. I don't wanna have to fight to get to my cookies. What does this look like? Fudge sickles. Ugh. No. So guys, when you try your Aaron Baker's cookies, please be more prepared than me and have some scissors because this. This is a pretty big cookie. It's about the size of the palm of my hand. Look at that. I will say this kind of looks like a cookie that was not baked like Maxine's cookies, even though these are. Let's go ahead and try it. Mm hmm. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't expect it to take this long to chew the cookie. Let me get some water. Okay, so it took me forever to chew this thing. It's very chewy and it's also dry. Is it nasty? No. It just tastes like a regular old oatmeal raisin cookie. There's nothing really special about it. Um, so far, I definitely prefer the Maxine's Heavenly Oatmeal Cinnamon Raisin. It's not as moist as you would want your cookies to be. And it's that kind of chewy that isn't fun because it's dry. But again, it's not a bad cookie. I'm definitely gonna eat the rest of it with some milk. Next, we are going to try the double chocolate cookie. Yeah. Why didn't I learn my lesson the first time and go grab scissors? I don't know. I'll be back. Cutting time. So let's pull it out. Basically it looks like the oatmeal raisin cookie without the oatmeals obviously, and it is darker with chocolate chunks in there. I'm really excited about this one. Oh, they need to fix this. Um. <sighs> Uh, so again, these cookies are really more on the dry side. I feel like there was a lot of chocolate in there, but it was really hard for me to tell because I was concentrating on the dryness and the chewiness combined. I didn't really get to experience the fullness of that double chocolate. Not a bad cookie, I'll finish it, but not that fast. 
I have to say though, I think I'll put the double chocolate in front of the oatmeal raisin. If I'm being totally and completely honest, which I am. Um, I'm not really excited to try these last two cookies just because I feel like they're gonna be dry. And the next one I'm trying is caramel apple. That sounds like a bad dry cookie. So at this point, all the cookies pretty much look the same, minus an ingredient here or there. One's lighter, one's darker. I'm gonna go ahead and try this cookie, which I have to say, off the bat, I'm already displeased with the cookie because I don't see caramel. When you hear caramel, you don't want to just hear it, you want to see that liquid. And there is none of that in here. I'm discouraged. <laughs> This cookie is a waste of my time. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna break up the cookie a little bit to see if I see any apple bites in here because it said that it was baked with fruit. I can taste the existence of apple, but I don't see any apple anywhere. Nope. There's no apple. So, so far, I have the biggest qualm with the caramel apple cookie, simply for the fact that I don't taste much caramel at all. I barely taste the existence of the apple. It's like the apple is about to go extinct within this cookie. With it being dry, I feel like the caramel, if there was actual caramel drizzle on top of it, within it, whatever, that would have made this cookie way better. This is the biggest letdown of them all. Again, it's not nasty, but it's not good. You know what I'm saying? Let's get to the last cookie. I'm tired of these cookies. We're gonna move on to the peanut butter chocolate cookie. What child is gonna want this for breakfast? I'm just saying. And I think that's a, ooh. There are actual peanuts in here for me to bite on. Hmm. But it's gonna be dry. I already know. Let's give it a go. This was not the cookie to be dry with. Making peanut butter cookies is already hard enough because peanut butter naturally is more, it's not more dry, but it's very creamy and it sticks to your mouth very easy and so what you don't want is a dry peanut butter cookie so i can't i can't enjoy this at all it's definitely peanut butter a little bit of chocolate but it's dry who wants a dry cookie nobody the only time i want a dry cookie is if it's a crunchy cookie that is meant to be dipped in milk these are soft and dry worst thing ever worst i gotta drink some water hold on I would still put that ahead of the caramel apple cookie though. So my rating is basically first place, double chocolate, second place, oatmeal raisin, third place, peanut butter chocolate, and fourth place, caramel apple. But since I'm telling you guys how I really feel, honestly, all of these are in last place because they're all so dry. If it's gonna be soft, it needs to be moist and delicious. With my package, they sent me this little coupon saying, save 20% off with this code and use it by July the 30th. I won't be utilizing that. These cookies, like I said, they're not horrible, but they're not good. I'd rather just buy Maxine's Heavenly and get on with my day. I'm not really sure why they call these breakfast cookies. No one is gonna want these for breakfast. No child, no man, no woman, no one's gonna want it. Unless you want to give this to your child if you're trying to get them to drink more water because this will definitely make them thirsty. That's about all I can say about these cookies. If I were you, I would not waste my money on the $5 shipping. It's not worth it. Buy Maxine's Heavenly cookies, buy some other cookies. Um, Just don't get these. These. these suck. Anyways, that's pretty much it for today. Hopefully next time I come back with some cookies, I'll have a better brand. But you guys already know the deal. Have a wonderful day and remember to love peaches and all the sneeches.